Today, we will be discussing on the effective PowerPoint presentation in three steps. Only three steps. How we can make an effective PowerPoint presentation. There are three stages. First stage is about planning. Second stage is make a PPT presentation. How to make a good PPT presentation. And the third one is the delivery. The three important aspects in the presentation on the PowerPoint. First step is a plan. How to plan? Planning for every activity, planning is required. Even uh, uh, Nurla knows, even Bhagavan knows, uh, we also know. How much of a planning we do at the time of Sansadhyotana Awards? So much of a planning, meticulous planning. And uh, this uh, planning takes a lot of time. The execution becomes a lesser time and execution becomes perfect. First thing is understand the subject or the topic that you have been given and collect all the information. That is one of the things. Because at a time, you know, when the people ask some of us to speak, we don't even uh, prepare for the talk. And we just take it lightly and we go there and uh, what topic you want me to talk. Then we speak from whatever comes to our mind. That is not the correct way of a professional presentation. So we need to understand the topic. Yesterday, when Bhagavan Singh asked me, whether we need to, whether we can have one presentation on making a presentation itself. The first thing is I did was understand the topic because the topic is a very, very important topical interest. And uh, 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 I understood the topic and collected all the information. I wanted to uh, uh, use the same uh, materials which I had done it earlier, which I could not get in. So again, I started redoing it, gathered all the information. Not only that, let's say I'm just showing you, gathered all the information. I just show you on the screen. So I jotted down many points from the various sources, internet and everywhere. What are the things that I need to uh, speak? Certain times may be irrelevant. Certain times it will be relevant. But whether it is relevant or irrelevant, first jot it down. Then we can reduce it, we can edit it. Then know your audience profile. This is a very important to whom you are going to speak. This is a very uh, this particular uh, uh, subject. Any subject, whenever we are speaking, that subject has to be related to the audience. Suppose you are going to talk to the college students. They are different. Their requirements are different. When you are going to speak to the professionals or corporate people, their requirements are highly different. So suppose if somebody is going to talk about the health aspect, suppose a person is going to, uh, a yoga master or somebody is going to talk, or to a, uh, a student, that student's requirement of a yoga is totally different from the requirement of an IT professional who works for 15 hours, 16 hours a day on a tensionless basis. So this is a so totally every audience is, uh, uh, the, the audience profile are different. So you need to, make a, or customize your uh, 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 content to suit the audience. Then duration. Duration of your talk is very, very important. Suppose today, uh, Bhagavan Singh has given me one hour time. So I have prepared this for 40 minutes only. That is, see, what is the duration? Because certain time, what happened? People are given for 10 minutes time. Even recently, I have... Uh, attended uh, Mount Abu uh, 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 National Media Conference. Many seniors spoke, college professors, academicians, and uh, the working journalists, so many people. They were all given seven minutes, 10 minutes time, even in writing, that the brochure contained seven minutes, 10 minutes. When 90% of them did not confine, they started speaking for 30 minutes, 40 minutes and one. Where is seven minutes, where is 30 minutes? Because they just come without any preparation, without any uh, uh, botheration about the timing of others. If there are five people in the panelists, each one is given five, seven minutes time or 10 minutes time. If each one is going to take some 30 minutes, how the panelists, how the other panelists will speak, how the audience will get a different views. So there is the given, whether it is a PowerPoint presentation or a oral presentation, the timing is a duration of the presentation is very, very important. To what extent we will go, to what extent uh, uh, we may not be able to go beyond. Then, how that means the preparation of slide or the preparation, even if it is a public speaking without a slide also, 
prepare your content only for three fourth of that time alone. Suppose if you are asked to speak for 30 minutes, you just prepare only for three fourth of the time, not for entire 30 minutes or one hour. Because you may not be, there is a for elasticity is there in every speech. Suppose in this particular talk, though I have been given for one hour time, I just prepared it for 30 to 40 minutes only. There will be elasticity will be there. There will be some question and answer session. Or I may go out of the way to explain certain things, which is beyond my control. So what will happen is that you please do not make your PowerPoint slide or plan your speech for the entire duration of the speech a lot time allotted to you. You will be preparing it only for three fourths of that time. Certain time, what will happen in some conferences, many times I have seen, you will be given 15 minutes of time. But unfortunately, because of certain other requirement or because of the earlier speaker has taken more time, you will be punished and you will be asked by the panel chair, sir, for 15 minutes, you reduce it to 10 minutes. So we should be prepared to reduce it to 10 minutes also. Then in that case, we may have to prune down some of the unimportant uh, uh, points which are uh, 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 which are not relevant, or which are relevant, but at the same time, which are not a priority. That's why when you have priority, when I talk to the priority, you must prioritize your speaking points in the same order. You prepare the uh, uh, speaking points, one, two, three, four, five, either in the slide or in an oral speech also, or in oral presentation. And all of you are journalists only. So you know the inverted pyramid system. Where the uh, topmost, uh, uh, most important item will be on the top, the least important item will be on the bottom. So, so for an example, you are given 10 minutes time or 15 minutes time or even half an hour's time. You are making some uh, six points or seven points, prioritizing. All the six points or seven points, which is the topmost priority, you have to speak first. Because it may say, take some time. You may, you'll be allotting two minutes time for that or three minutes time. Because of the priority, probably you may have to extend it by one more minute. So you may have to prepare for that. You may not have a time. 15 minutes, 20 minutes will be over. You will have to wind up. So inverted permit system, you can cut off the next, uh, the least, uh, 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 the bottom uh, portion of your uh, content. Then normally, at uh, sufficient time in planning the stage. That's a very, very important. Yesterday, I might have spent around more than uh, two to two and a half hours in planning only because the slide is what? Only 17 slides or so of the top and bottom, more than the effective slides are only 15 will be there. But for that, I took around two and a half hours for making the points and organizing things. This is where you are requiring it. The moment when you spend more time on the planning, after all, it is only for 40 minutes presentation. But I spent more than two and a half hours or three hours for making the jotting down the points and then prioritizing how it can be organized. That is very important. The planning is very, very important and the gather relevant and the sufficient materials. Sufficient materials are required. And normally, I used to compare in the uh, case of presentation. It is like your uh, uh, mother's kitchen or uh, your uh, wife's kitchen. The ladies, what happened? The, before they start the uh, kitchen work, they keep all the things ready. They keep uh, one kilogram of brinja. They keep uh, one kilogram of, uh, or even one kilo of uh, salt. They keep uh, a lot of dal. Everything, even uh, one liter of oil. But everything is not being used in the kitchen or in the cooking. And they use only sufficient required materials. Maybe one kilogram of uh, salt will be there, but hardly one spoon will be used. One kilogram of uh, oil will be there, but hardly two spoons will be used. Brinjal, maybe two kgs will be there, but hardly they will be using around 200 grams. So it is like, you know, I always uh, uh, tell the audience, you please remember while you are preparing the uh, speeches, either in the first slide presentation or uh, oral presentation, remember your mother's kitchen where everything is will be available in plenty. At the same way, we will also get the materials, everything is available in plenty. Plus, added to that, we will be having our own experiences all together, and it will be, will be enormous. But how to reduce it, summarize it to the need of the audience with a limited time, this is where 
the efficiency of the speaker life this is the most important step anywhere while the oral or presentation the first step of planning is over now we will go to the second step now we are going to make the slides in the slide presentation you have a powerpoint either in the open source open office is there or you have a microsoft you choose any one of them it's a very simple process all of us will be using microsoft uh, uh, powerpoint choose your template that's a very very important in the template is very very important there are lot of powerpoint uh, uh, templates are available on the net now latest also is available you can just uh, google and search or sometime you may get some very good powerpoint in the course you can also use that this powerpoint template i am using it for more than 15 years or 16 17 years i am using this i got it for uh, from some other uh, sources for uh, presentation somebody has sent to me this particular presentation uh, or the uh, template i found it very useful yeah when 15 20 years or 16 17 years back i started using this this is my normal template as far as my presentations are concerned all my presentation will be in this template only why i will explain to you why i choose this and this is a dark background can see this is sometime when you are screening it on the uh, hall and uh, when the audience is there 50 60 people of audience is there you are going to make it a lcd lcd projection then you know a white a bright white uh, uh, background will always be glaring for the eyes that you must keep it in mind because the audience will have a different age profile whether it is a small age or a big age the eyes will have some suffering it will be not be convenient for the eyes so what you have to do then you have to choose preferably a dark background and very comfortable for the eyes that is why i chose this particular template for all my uh, presentation because the background is slightly dark and it will be very comfortable for the eyes and the kayak and kind of that it should be comfortable for your uh, 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 eyes because that is the most important at the time the uh, uh, font also what font you are going to use that's a very very important arial helvetica font sir 23 28 30 you can use that. this is i think this particular font is around 30 or 32 so you can use uh, bah, bah, uh, you, you have a space you can use a uh, uh, higher font also there is a larger font so that the comfort of the eyes is very important when somebody is sitting in the sixth row or seventh row or when somebody is seeing on the screen and uh, uh, you will be able to see 24 or 28 uh, uh 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 font the title should be much more than that it can be even 40 and uh, narrow fonts like times roman and other thing please avoid times roman will be uh, sometime you know the traditional people will use the times roman and uh, uh, times roman may not be comfortable for the eyes and uh, uh, now today a lot of good fonts have come use them even uh, helvetica will be <coughs> very very comfortable arial will be very very comfortable uh, are you able to see my powerpoint slide there i did not ask bhagwan ji are you able to see okay yes uh, yes, so yes very very clearly very clearly thank you okay okay uh, second step is in the second step prepare the slides in the order in which you will deliver the presentation <laughs> this is a very very important you have already chosen the uh, uh, topic you have already chosen the contents you have already chosen the materials which are the things that you need to speak then i told you you must prioritize the items 1 2 3 like a inverted pyramid uh, model which are the things that are in the with limited time available to suit the audience requirement again the audience requirement is very much uh, essential so to suit that then prepare the slide in the same order in which you are going to deliver the presentation suppose you may be uh, suppose you are planning it for 30 minutes and uh, still you have a, uh, you are well within that but sometime it gets elongated you are not able to take up the last two slides you can omit it or you can go through rush through and uh, so that that will be a least priority that's why i said that inverted pyramid model you have to use it but at any time priority slides you should not omit it 
and bullet points from you. Do not write an essay. Sometime what will happen? People start writing an essay, very big essay, or 10 lines, 20 lines, which you can't read the given. Many times I have seen out of uh, 60 out of uh, 100 people, they use essays. Please avoid writing essays. Only bullet points are required. The bullet points, when you are going to speak, you are going to expand. Another thing is graphics and pictures should be visible to the audience. This is a very, very important. <laughs> the pictures, sometimes we can use the graphics, use, and use the pictures. That should be visible to the audience. Suppose there is no point in uh, showing some graphics or pictures which cannot be understood by the audience from the sitting and the tenth row. Then big scanned images, please avoid. Sometimes the scanned images, they have one the report will be there in the Hindu or Indian. That Hindu's report, they will be scanning it fully and then they will be showing it on the a screen. Who can read it? Probably for reference sake, you can say that Hindu has carried a particular, but you never have to have an explanation differently, different slides. But for a reference, you can probably, you can show, but not as a uh, content of your presentation. This is the type which I said, wrong type. Say for an example, some uh, data, some data which I took it from uh, some internet. <laughs> Just I uh, made it as a uh, JPEG file and then uh, uh, inserted it. You may not be able to read anything, but there will be a lot of data is there. That data uh, which you cannot read anything, but the data uh, is seen somewhere. Uh, if you are, uh, uh, even if you're in a closed look also, you may not be able to see this type of uh, scanned images. Please avoid in a PowerPoint. That is, uh, please put it this type of, uh, uh, yeah, of course, don't bother about what is the graphics or anything, what it relates to economic factor. Just uh, only for example, I have to tell you. Say for an example, this is one graphics that uh, somebody uh, you want to use. This type of uh, graphics, say with the color, with uh, all the side. If you want to you explain, manufacturing is 13%, construction is 11%, and uh, agriculture is 11%. What is the economic status or something like that? So, uh, 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 this you will be able to explain. The audience also will be able to relate it to the extent possible because he will be able to, oh, agricultural constitutes a larger portion of employment. Oh, agriculture, what is the next? Well, marketing is there. Right? So many things. So you are able to convey through pictures a very powerful message with the least explanation there. And uh, the, again, do not use too much of colors and fonts. This is a very, very important. Sometimes what happens, many people I have seen in the slides using large number of colors, large number of colors. And these are multi or 10 colors or 20 colors. They use whatever colors are available and they use a different, different type of fonts. That will be too irritating for the eyes. Please bear in mind, when you are showing a slide, you are, uh, uh, you are the audience eyes should not get irritated. Then, Blinking, another important thing is, in the slide, the animations, uh, normally many people use animations, blinking and other things. Please avoid that. Don't even certain time, you know, every stroke, another point will come, another point will come, another point will come. Animations will be there. Suppose the first point do not use, second point uh, use links when I put it. Suppose if I click, another second point will run through. Please, uh, you can avoid that because that may not be, be like a, good for the uh, uh, audience. Audience will look at the entire slide together. Probably you might have missed your first point. Again, you know, what will happen when you are uh, talking for the second point, you will look at the first point and uh, refresh himself. So you leave the uh, 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 importance to the audience eyes so that he can choose whichever the, he wants to show uh, or read. Then links of audio and video also, or social media or websites can be used in the uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. So say for an example, you want to show a Twitter page of, uh, say for an example, I, uh, social media, I'm making a, uh, 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 say for an example, even Bhagavan knows, I made a, a presentation on uh, how the uh, internet uh, uh, is being, uh, used by various uh, regional media. It was in television rates association, if I remember, correct. So we used a lot of links. So what happened, if uh, now if you are going to use about the media, how the regional media 
or Indian media uses the internet for their news dissemination. You can show us links there, say for an example, how the Times of India is doing it, how the Hindu is doing it, how Dinamalar is doing it, how uh, Tamil Hindu is doing it, how Andhra, Enadu is doing it. You can give a link. You can click the link and you can take it. If the internet is available there on the site, you can take it to the uh, site or running site itself or a website, even social media, even video. Say for an example, you can take it to the YouTube or you can take it to the standalone video. If you are using a video, then you put it in the same directory in which your, uh, your slide is there. Suppose you are making this slide, I am making it as a uh, three step for PPT presentation. Say I am putting it in my desktop in a folder, three step for PPT presentation, this particular slide. Suppose I am going to use a video that I have just I wanted to demonstrate. Dr. Abdul Kalam's speech. That is a standalone video. It is already in YouTube, but I have extra downloaded and then I am putting it. Suppose I want to show a video. Suppose the place where you are going to give a lecture, the internet may not be very powerful. So you don't worry about that. You download that video and keep it in your the same directory, in the same directory. And you give a link so that you will be uh, uh, playing that. Say this is the link that uh, you can go to insert hyperlink and then you can uh, give that link. Uh, say for an example, now I will play this and just for a few minutes, few minutes you can just uh, uh, watch that, how it goes. Use the, uh, you, uh, use the PowerPoint as your guide on and uh, uh, to give your lecture. See, certain time, you know, the PowerPoint gives you a speaking point. Sometimes the PowerPoint uh, is a more like a guide. Whether we need to have, yesterday myself and uh, Nurla also, we were talking about that. Whether you need a PowerPoint when you want to make a presentation. Yes, PowerPoint gives you a guide. Say for an example, as a senior person, so you are going and giving a talk in a uh, professional college. Sometimes you are uh, likely to di uh, diversify your speech to some other point. So probably you might be sharing your experiences or, uh, or you may extend your time beyond your point. So what will happen? Your uh, important points will get cut off. So the PowerPoint works as a gate so that you don't even when your uh, uh, digression is there, you will just come back to the normal uh, uh, slide and then you will start uh, going with your slide. This is a very, very helpful tool for all the professionals to give a lecture there. And a certain time, what happens? People start reading the content on the, uh, whatever written on the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Reading should never be done, particularly when there is a, a, a physical audience is sitting before you. For reading it, uh, why you need a, a professional like you. You can also circulate the PowerPoint, ask him to read it, or you can type it in a Word document and then send it for circulation. Because you are required as a professional you are required to explain certain points to the audience who may likely to put a uh, question to you or get a clarification. Then confine to your timing is very, very important. All the audience are expected, they will expect you to complete your speech within the regular, within the stipulated time. Because at the time, you know, when you are uh, extending your time, the people, whoever the subject is quite interesting, the people may get bored. The people will not be liking. So you need to confine to yourself within the time and allow the audience to interact, the question and answer session also. During the course of presentation, some of the anecdotes and the humors are required. You can share your uh, personal experiences. Say, for an example, you might have gone for uh, interacting with uh, a former chief ministers or a prime minister or national leaders or film actors. And uh, sometime when you are going to uh, talk about relatively, you are going to or you are giving a talk about how to take an interview and all. And probably you can have some sort of an anecdote. How a Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was reacting to the question, how the Chief Minister Karunanji or Jalvita were reacting. So the people will interest you. Or certain time, younger audience, they may like to uh, uh, get a, a feel of how you interacted with the film actors. Probably they would like to have a film actors of the latest uh, uh, generation. 
this type of a thing that will keep your uh, audience close with you then interact with the audience is a very very important you have to interact with the audience either during the presentation or after the presentation if you are closing it without interaction that may not be giving you a better uh, uh, feel to the audience then finally when you are closing the uh, presentation please close it with the thanking everybody and uh, give your contact details sometimes people don't give the contact details uh, for their own obvious reasons please give your contact details if required by the audience and uh, customize uh, or if you can't if you don't want to give a mobile at least give them the email id so that they can be in that that because nobody will write it but anyway that will give you bring you closer to the audience and uh, certain type people what they do they have a, 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 a presentation one particular topic that the same uh, presentation that uh, they will use it for a very college a very lecture say for an example a, a digital journalism digital journalism means they will have some 20 slides the same slide thing. please customize it to the current topic current day lot of developments might have happened over the previous uh, uh, preparation of the uh, uh, slide even every time when i also pick up from the archive some of the topics crisis communication other thing i keep on updating the crisis what i have written 10 years back 20 years back still people may not even remember that people may not even understand some of the crisis because those crises have already gone the crisis is always uh, uh, very very contemporary whatever the crisis happens it's a contemporary so the crisis communication when i make a powerpoint presentation i always pick up the latest crisis in the market either the political crisis or the corporate crisis or some college crisis say for an example if now kallakurchi crisis if you are able to use that in the slide on the communication or the crisis communication people will immediately relate it to me so instead of somewhere in the uh, in the 2016 or sorry Uh, uh, um, uh, 1990s, uh, some telephone crisis was there. Nobody will be able to remember. Some of them would not have even born there. So please use the anecdotes or anything and customize it to the current requirement so that the people will relate it to the or uh, subject. Now we will uh, open up for a question and answer session for about ten or fifteen minutes. I think I have completed within fifteen minutes. Within the as per the scheduled uh, uh, plan. now we can open it and you can uh, open your uh, mic speak and then close it normally uh, thank you so much shrinivas sir that was a very uh, comprehensive comprehensive very thorough um, uh, journey that you took us through this process of uh, a ppt uh, presentation it's going to help me a lot in the coming days when i'm going to attempt um you know presenting uh, a lecture or a interact with students groups of people earlier like you said correctly uh, without a powerpoint presentation i would kind of you know wander on from one end of my topic to another end and sometimes touching on issues which were not really required and the process taking more time than i should have uh you have done it very well and i'm very grateful to you one thing is you were telling me about you were you were saying that we should prepare we should prepare the background and all that now for a simple simple uh, powerpoint presentation like for example you are doing a powerpoint presentation on the the power sector or poverty or healthcare normally you know in, in your experience uh, you would you be able to tell me how much of time i would require for this preparation because that will help me kind of start preparing how many days in advance depends on the topic depends on the topic on which you are going to speak you are going to healthcare at a global level that it is enormous you can't finish it within 30 minutes or 40 minutes any powerpoint presentation 30 minutes or 40 minutes beyond that it will create a monotony because uh, that's why i can find to 40 minutes 
and uh, interactive sessions half an hour when you have it that will give you a uh, 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 monotony will be uh, uh, reduced but uh, more subjects can be discussed there which are required for audio but as far as the healthcare is concerned and care becomes a broad then you must reduce it as the people the speakers you must confine it confine it reduce it reduce it reduce it reduce it a healthcare in tamil nadu healthcare in chennai then chennai means then what is that healthcare in tamil nadu means from which period to which period that is from post uh, independence or uh, the entire uh, 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 historical then you, know, you can do much thing even a healthcare in uh, tamil nadu you can start from uh, the tirumular days onwards siddhas tirumular how it was in the uh, each one you can have a, chronologically you can bring it and quickly you can go through how would the health care comes health care is how many hospitals are there how many hospitals were there at the time of uh, uh, independence how many hospitals are there today how many health care uh, professionals were there today how much you can explain and what are the new things that are depending on the subject and it all depends on the fun of the subject how much of a time you are going to allot how much of so, that from you are going to get the sources of correct documentation mm-hmm.